How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you today as always at this time we are going to be playing the new ranked play mode ranked 1v1 morph that is right so in morph you get to pick three different legends you pick which weapon you want for the legend and you stick with that weapon the whole time and you can switch between legends instantaneous like in between attacks so I'm not like the best morph player, but I've been diamond 21 times in regular ranked 1v1 So maybe I can translate some of the skill to morph, but really I think morph is a completely different animal So let's see we want to try to think about chaining attacks together. I think I want to go with Sir Roland uh, We'll go with his Lance Even though it shows the sword there I'm only gonna be having his Lance and then we'll go to Azuri Katars I like to have three different weapons, and then we can go to maybe a Scythe player. So let's try Volkov, and I'll go Coat of Lions here, and we're going to use the Scythe for sure. Volkov. That one looks good. All right. Another cool thing about playing uh, Morph this season is you get bonus glory, and you can get titles just for uh, getting so many wins and reaching certain uh, ranks within Morph. All right, so here's our first game in Morph. He has Val, Jala, and Rayman, though we don't know which weapons. It should it should really show which weapon they're gonna use, but whatever. We'll find out anyways. I'm gonna do my wolf taunt. I love doing that taunt. So the key to Morph is to Morph often like in between attacks because it really m messes up your opponent. Like they can't even react to what's happening. Uh, it's hard to do, kind of. That's why it's important to try to pick legends that can string together attacks easier than others. And honestly, it just takes some trial and error to learn what that is. Like, I'm still learning uh, what what teams do well, what weapons do well, morphing into each other. So I'm still learning as we go, but I'm really enjoying it. There we go. Yeah, I think uh, Sir Roland into Azuri is a really good option. Oh, almost got the double. Also, just the Sir Roland in general. He's just a good legend. See, he, my, my opponent here is not morphing very often, which is fine. I mean, you don't have to morph at all if you don't want. You could even set on one legend, but... In my experience, the people that morph a lot are the ones that just dominate. Oh, I love having that dunk as an option as well on Azuri. Right, we're, we're looking at a three stock here, so that's pretty dang good. If you're really good at morphing, you can really string together the attacks. Uh-oh. I feel like I'm just, like, at the very beginning of learning, like, some basic morph strings but GG yeah we got the three stock let's go three stock for the first game and more drop a like if you enjoy this content really helps out the channel all right we got to uh what is that silver five hopefully we can get gold rank in this video that would be nice that worked out really well that really did let's try a different lance legend uh let's try scarlet with lance I like having three different weapons. So let's go Lance. Let's go into a Sword Legend this time. How about? So let's go Lance into Sidra Sword. Oh, that would be crazy. And then, because I do love Sidra Sword. I just don't really like her cannon. And then we'll go into a... I like, I like having a Scythe Legend in there as well. So let's go into Fate on the Scythe. And then we'll go Black Colors this time. I'm gonna pick different colors, different weapons, uh, different legends every time for the most part. Just uh, I like experimenting and seeing what works. Alright, got our next match. Let's see, we're going against a uh, platinum player this time. Lucian, Bryn, and Mordex. Ooh, that's a good, uh, that's a good combo there. Almost guarantee if they pick Mordex, it's gonna be a scythe. Alright, going against Chase. Get the wolf taunt going on there. He has honor as well. The best part about morph is you spawn with a weapon in your hand. You don't even have to wait for the weapon. I kind of like that a lot, actually. You get right to fighting. All right, let's try to uh, see what we can do here with this team. 
I've never played this team before. In fact, every single fight of this video, I've never played the team before. Like, I'm literally just experimenting and recording and seeing what works and what doesn't. Wrong way! Oh my gosh! Hopefully by the time we get to a Platinum or Diamond ranked and Morph, I'll have like a pretty pretty good team figured out and like have have some nice Morph combos, you know, figured out. So far, I really do like having a Lance Legend in my rotation though. A lot of people don't fight very well versus Lance and that's why I like to have it. Doesn't matter who the Lance Legend is, they're all good. Ouch, that hurt. This guy's actually really good. It's like super close right now. One hit for any of us. Somewhere. Okay, that was stupid, Lucian. Yep. Ooh, nice one, nice one, nice one. All right, we got him into deep red, though. I, I really shouldn't have done that neutral sig, but it just kind of happened. He's kind of just waiting for me to throw out an attack and punish. That's okay. We can do the same thing. Let's get some morphin in, baby. Mighty morphin Brahalla. This guy is kind of hard to approach. He never holds still, you know. But we'll still get it. Oh yeah, he's on the ropes now. We got him into red. Hmm. Let's go! Got him with the ground pound. Game's not over though. He's still got another stock. I'm. I got two stocks. We're doing good. Let's see if I can actually get some damage on him before like anything else happens. All right, he's sticking with the Mordex Scythe for now. That's a little bit different. Oh, never mind. He changed. Whoa! He he had something going on there. Oh! That's what I'm talking about, man. Those morph strings. We just gotta finish this game out. There it is. Let's go! <laughs> he kind of jumped into my neutral sig there. Well played, dude. Well played. I don't know if I did as good with this team as I did with the other team, but we still got the win. Almost got to gold rank, guys. So close, so close. Alright, let's do a totally different team. Now, normally I like to do random, but the only reason I don't do random and morph ranked is because you don't know which weapons you're going to get. And that's kind of important when you're doing uh, morph. You want to be able to combo into different weapons. Let's go uh, Leonardo. I'm sorry. Uh, where is he? Raphael. This is Ragnar. And I'm going to go Ragnar's Katars. And then we're going to go into Vector Lance. That one sounds fun. And we'll finish it up with... How about Taros Axe? Oh yeah, that would be a great finisher. I like Taros Hammer better almost, but Taros Axe is uh, probably, I'm just better with Axe, but I do like Taros uh, Hammer signatures better. We'll be able to morph from Taros, who's like a slow legend, into Raphael, who's kind of a faster legend, so hopefully it works out. All right, I didn't see which characters he has. I think he had, uh, definitely has Lord Rax. All right. I got a good feeling about this team, though. Like, I do like these characters a lot, so. Wait. Wait! All right, well. Got to stop very quickly this time. Maybe I found a really good team here. That was so crazy. All right, he's got Thor. Ooh, I never thought about using Thor. That's a good one. Oh, the strings! I'm a morph master! Oh my gosh, I think I found my best best morph team ever? Or maybe I'm just getting better at playing morph. Probably a combination of both, but this team is solid. I bet you Lord Vrax Lance would be the pick. Lord Vrax Lance is so busted. GG, oh my goodness. Maybe we found like the best morph team. I think I want to play with this team one more time just to see if it's really that good or maybe we just got lucky. Let's do the same team, same team. 
By the way, guys, if you know a really good morph team, let me know in the comments or let everybody know. So that way we can help each other on this channel. You know what I mean? If you know a really good morph combo, drop it. Share the help. Uh, share the help. <laughs> or the, share the share the knowledge. All right, here we go. Let's see if that this this uh, team is really all that. Probably after the last game, I, I'm not gonna do as well, but we'll see. Already, I can tell this guy is a better opponent, so that makes a difference. I really don't like this map because the platform covers like the entire map almost. It makes it hard to hit somebody who's just sitting under the platform if you're on top of it, you know? You have to go through the platform to hit them. It's just, I don't know. Vice versa though, if you're underneath it, it's a good defensive position. Being a little careless here, we have to, we have to be a little bit more careful. Oh my goodness, speaking of being careless. He could have got back on stage, instead he tried to hit me. Ooh, nice side sig. Maybe I shouldn't have switched to Taros there. Pretty much evened it back up. This is gonna be a much closer game, I could already tell. But this team I got, it's a good team. Like, I really like Ragnar. Taros is always a good option. Axe or hammer. I just gotta I gotta think Taros is always gonna be good in more. Because you never drop the weapon. Like, that's so OP. I do kinda wish that I could throw the weapon sometimes, but you get used to it after you play more for a while. You just get used to never being able to throw the weapon. Imagine a Brahala game where you just always have the weapons, you never throw them, and you can just switch between your weapon whenever you want. I think that would be such a cool mode. It's kind of like Morph, but being able to switch either weapon, not not necessarily switch characters, you know what I mean? Woo! That Morph literally saved my life and killed him. Beautiful. We got a lead, but it's a very slim lead. Ooh, I did not mean to do that, Sig. Maybe instead of morphing into Sigs, I'll try morphing into light attacks more often. I feel like Vector is not the best Lance to morph into because he has really weird Sigs. I think uh, Lord Vax or Sir Roland has a better Lance. Even Scarlet, literally anyone. Just for morph. Like, if you're just playing a regular 1v1, it's fine. But for morphing into attacks, you want something that it's just a little easier. GG! We got it with that side sig. Oh my goodness, Ragnar is so good. GG dude, GG. We were almost exactly the same elo. And did that put me to gold? Still not. I don't remember what elo you have to get to get to gold, but I don't know, we'll get there. All right, let's think of a new team. Uh, let's start with uh, Bryn, Spear, and then we'll go Bordek, Scythe, why not? Everybody else is doing it. We might as well try it. And then we'll go into Sir Roland's sword, how about? No, we already did Sir Roland. Uh, let's go into core gauntlets. Why not? This is a new team I've never played before either, so we'll see how it goes. All right, going against J. Carlos Monster. I feel like I've seen this guy before. I don't remember, but the name sounds familiar. I like his team. He had Sir Roland, Azoth, Three, and two, somebody else. One, Very cool. All right, here we go. Right off the bat, he morphs to uh, Orion. Oh, I love having Mordex Scythe, for sure. Mordex Scythe. We got core gauntlets. Woo, that was a clean morph sequence. All right. This could be another excellent team. I do like Breer. Uh, <laughs> I like Bryn Spear. I tried to say Bryn and Spear at the same time I said Breer. All right, so core is also very useful for the gauntlets. We got like a, such a big lead already. All I have to do is not mess up and we should win this game. <laughs> not mess up too badly. Just keep the, uh, the foot on the gas, so to speak. Oh, 
A lot of people don't expect the core signatures on gauntlets as well. The core neutral sig on gauntlets especially is super good at spiking people down. So far though, uh, this guy has picked it up in the second stock. Oh, we're doing pretty good so far. Oh, never mind. He got us. Nope. Ah, oh, he did. That's okay. I wish I could morph while I'm being dropped. Ooh, nice read on the dodging. Not so nice on the on the side signature he did there. Oh, he's almost dead. GG. Oh wait, he got one more stock. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> All right, one more stock. What do you guys think of morph though? It's pretty crazy, huh? Let me know if you've tried it in uh, rank 1v1 and what rank you got. I'm gonna try to get a diamond, I think. Let me know if you think I should. I feel like I'm starting to get the hang of this whole uh, warp mechanic, though. Gotcha! I got you with that down sig! Oh, no. One more of those. Okay. Never mind. He's not dead. So close! One hit and he's dosed! Okay, maybe, maybe two hits. Any minute. One more good hit and he is toast. Okay. <laughs> GG dude, GG. Did we even lose a game? Oh man, we're doing pretty good at Borf. Did I get gold? Yes! We got gold! Let's go! Let's go! Gold rank must be 1400, huh? All right, wow, feels good. Hey, we got uh, we got another title. Look at that, season 22, Borf Adept. All right, interesting. And there you go, guys. So let's go back and look at this. So see, I got only like, how many wins do I got? 19 wins. So I need to get to 50 wins before I'll get another bonus glory. And then, yeah, we get raiding glory and exciting exciting speaking of glory guys i have yet to purchase any uh from this season i got 10,000 glory so yeah two things to let me know in the comments your favorite morph setup and also what should i buy with my glory i got 10,000 i could buy a couple sky forge some gold forge i could get a weapon i could get the ui thing yeah pretty cool could get the, the ox <laughs> I kind of lean more towards the uh, the colors though. I like getting the Sky Forge and Gold Forge colors. So let me know which legends you think I should get for. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. This is Lucian Sword. Hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy, friends.